Hey guys, it's Andrea. Today I'm gonna be cooking up some beef stew with ingredients that I got from Hungry Root, which is a grocery and or meal delivery service. Um, to me, they specialize in like organic, no antibiotics, um, added stuff like that. High end food, you guys. So I'm going to have a link I put down below to save you $50 off your first box. If you want to try out Hunger Root, I highly suggest you do. That 50 off special is just through this summer, they say. And the boxes are all in, shipping tax and all, like 67 So you could get a box for 17 bucks. Link down below. Anyway, let's get to this. I'm cooking up some beef stew, like I said. We've got our sirloin temps, um, potatoes, English peas, and organic rainbow carrots washed and ready to go. And then I'm going to add some staples from my pantry to finish this up. First up, I've got my pan here heating up on the stove. I was going to use that new FabFitFun Dutch oven, but I think it was just going to be too small for this pot of stew with all the potatoes and all that in it. So heating up two tablespoons veggie oil. Um, I'm going to start browning up these sirloin pieces and then, uh, yeah, getting a nice crust on them and then setting them to the side and continuing on with our stew. I'll be back when I'm ready to start putting some meat in here. All right, I'm ready to pull out our first batch. See how it's kind of nicely browned? I'm not going to worry about cooking it through because it's going to cook for a long time in our stew to get it uh, cooked through and nice and tender and all that jazz, which it's already tender because it's good, it's good meat. I did move the heat down to medium. And we'll put in our second batch. I had to put my apron on because mm, the grease splatter is real. This beef you can get from them, I just um, cooked it up in a stir fry before and it's super tender and delicious. So I won't have to cook my stew probably for as long due to that too. Alright, I'll check back in a couple more minutes. While that beef is finishing cooking, I'm going to go ahead and prep up some veggies. Um, I didn't get an onion from Hunger Red. They didn't have any, so I'm, I got one from the supermarket. And uh, I'm going to dice this up. And for once in my life, I'm actually out of garlic. Uh, I really could use some garlic for this recipe. So I guess I'll just use some garlic powder. <clears throat> I'm so aggravated today because FedEx is in my life and they suck. Three packages were supposed to be delivered today from them. All of them are not here. There. One was a food box, two were some beauty boxes, and uh, the, I was sitting right here, and the driver put on there, undeliverable, not home, or some bull crap, when I'm sitting right here, you know, literally a minute before I checked it, because I was thinking, when the heck my box is coming, I checked my tracking, literally a minute prior to me checking tracking, they had posted, that's when they attempted the delivery, they did not. I was sitting on my couch, y'all. <laughs> oh, gosh. Deep breaths. Deep breaths is all I can tell myself. I'm so fed up with them. I am so fed up with them. I just don't understand why people, companies continue to use them time after time. They must be dirt cheap because that would be the only way you could explain it. I don't know. What do y'all think? Let me check this meat. Hold on. I'm going to go ahead and... I don't know. 
I don't know. Let's do these potatoes. These potatoes are already washed and all that. I'm probably just gonna kind of quarter them in these bigger, little smaller chunks. So it won't take as long to cook them. And then I'm gonna kind of probably cut my carrots in half. I'll show y'all those. I'm gonna have the prettiest stew on the block. Look at these guys. Look at these little baby colored carrots. Already peeled, washed, and ready to eat. I'm just gonna cut those in half like that. So I'm gonna continue prepping my veggies and I'll be back uh, with the next step. Okay, let's pull out the rest of our meat. Now normally if you had stew meat, the, the meat and the juices stuff that in this next step would take a lot longer. But anyway, first we're gonna um, cook up our onions. And you can add more oil to the pot if you need to. I don't think I'm necessarily going to need to. I'm just going to put these onions and if I have garlic, garlic now, I'm going to put some garlic salt on it or some garlic powder. I prefer to use garlic powder so I can control the salt. And some salt and pepper. And I might add a little bit of olive oil. So we're going to cook these onions up until um, softened. Then I'll be back with the next step. Okay, I think our onions are nice and softened. I'm going to add to that three tablespoons of tomato paste. Beef stew. Yeah, well, what's that stuff we're putting on? Oh, tomato paste. Alright, we'll put tomato paste in here. Keep that through some. Gonna add, we're gonna be using three cups of beef broth. All right, it didn't take long, it's already boiling. We're gonna add the two cups of beef broth, two more cups of beef broth, I should say. A tablespoon of Worcestershire. And my seasoning pack. I love this beef stew seasoning pack by McCormick. That's what I always use. And it's delicious. In lieu of all the individual spices that go into it, just get a seasoning pack. bring it back to a boil and then we're gonna add our beef and turn it to low I'll be back I'm not using all of my potatoes I, um, if this is a pound and a half bag so I just used about a pound of them and I'll set these back for another meal all right I'm turning my heat down to medium low I'm gonna add in my beef with all the yummy juices that accumulated Now, if this was like regular stew meat that was real tough, 
you cook it on low for about, um, about an hour and a half. I probably won't cook it near that long since this is, you know, higher grade beef and it's already tender. So I'll check back, cover it, put it on low, and uh, let it stew. Get it hot. All right, let's start. Um, I've been letting the meat um, stew here in the pot for a while. Look how deeply deep red it is. I'm gonna add the start adding the veggies in, my carrots and potatoes. So you're great, Mom. Thank you. Woo, woo. Potatoes overboard everywhere. <laughs> now I got some more, put some more carrots in there. Okay, I guess I had to chop up some more carrots. I ran out of room on my cutting board. add a little more broth to this because I added a lot of meat and veggies and I'm saving the peas to last you don't cook the peas the whole time in this so yeah I'm gonna add a little bit more broth because this is gonna cook for like uh, at least 40 minutes and we'll check on our veggies at that point let me grab some more beef broth and we will if it's um, you know, too thin, we will be adding some cornstarch to it. A cornstarch slurry at the end to kind of thicken it up, too. All right. Gonna let it stew. Gonna let it stew a while again. I also didn't use all my carrots, so both of those together, I'll roast these up for another meal. That'll at least be a couple of servings of veggies for us. Okay, guys, I just tested my um, carrots and potatoes. Potatoes, I would say, are perfect. Carrots, I maybe like a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and start the next step, which is making our cornstarch slurry. Two tablespoons cornstarch and a fourth of a cup water. Just... Stir that up to combine it, and then we'll pour this in to thicken up our broth. We're also going to add in our peas. Where's my fork? I mean, not fork. <gasps> my scissors. Now you can just throw frozen right in here, frozen peas. Perfectly fine, too. They just take heating through to be done. You don't want to cook your peas too long. Okay, so I'm going to put that, this cornstarch in here. A couple of peas left in there. Stir to combine. This is, looks like some award-winning stew, y'all. This looks so good. If you can see that good. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> now, I'm just going to... Continue to cook this uncovered until I feel like that it thickens up a little bit and my carrots and peas are are perfectly finished. It'll probably be about, uh, I'd say about five more minutes. And then I'll be back to serve this up and we can give us a tasty taste. All right, it took longer to cook those peas than I anticipated. Um, I guess because they weren't those frozen peas in the bag, they were like peas, peas, you know? So I just let it cook for about probably 20 minutes on low, which was okay because my carrots kind of needed more cooking anyway. Um, it looks and smells delicious. I did try some of the peas to make sure they're cooked and the stew is yummy. Let's ladle some in. And give it an official taste test. Sally, so, sure you want some stew? Sure. Watch out, this stove top's hot. Don't give him a pair. You want to say hello? Say hi, Ollie. 
<laughs> there we go. Now, let me take a picture of that. Hot, hot, hot. My camera's shaking like crazy. All right. probably need to let it sit for a little bit and cool off or I burn my tongue off, right? Let me let it cool off. Okay. I've got us a little bite fixed up here. I did add a little more salt and pepper to my bowl. Mmm. That steak, it's like, um, Y'all, this it tastes like, you know, beef pot roast. This is so good. The flavor is amazing. The veggies are perfect. Steak is tender and delicious. This is my first ever beef stew, y'all. I make vegetable beef stew all the time with like hamburger meat and, um, you know, different soup veggies frozen or from the veg all. That is quite delicious and yummy. It tastes totally different than this, though. Beef stew is a is. You think it'd be very similar, but it's really not. The flavors are so different, and uh, I think my first beef stew was a great success. Yummy, yummy, yummy! What do you guys think? Give me a thumbs up. Oh, you know I'm gonna add this to it too, right? You know I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up if y'all like the video. Subscribe if you like to watch unboxings and I'll see y'all at the next one.